Wow. Terrence Crawford fights Ismail Mad uh Mad Ramov. And some people are crying robbery as Terrence Crawford wins a unanimous decision in a fight that was easily his most difficult of his career. Let's talk about that and the rest of the fight card in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 154-pound division where Terrence Crawford got a not-so-friendly welcome to the 154-pound division as Ismail Madmarov gave, <coughs> excuse me, Terrence Crawford absolutely everything that he can handle in that fight. So much so. That some people are crying robbery, saying that the fight was a robbery. Now, before I get into the details, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And thank you to everybody that supports in the super chats and in the cash apps and in the super thanks of videos. Matty O, Barbara D, the whole crew. Man. Some people are saying that there was a gift decision given out to Terrence Crawford. I do not agree with that. I believe Terrence Crawford won that fight. I <sighs> scored the fight, and I think I was really trying to make sure that I was not holding anything against Terrence Crawford. So whenever there was any type of question about the round, like I wasn't really sure, I tend to get those rounds to Terrence Crawford. Uh, so I had Bud win in the first, the second, the sixth, the uh, ninth, the tenth, and eleven. So basically, I had it seven round. I had it. Um, uh, I had it seven, six. Oh, I'm sorry, seven rounds to five. I had it seven rounds to five for um, for Terrence Crawford. And the but the scorecards for the fight were 116, 112 for the official scorecards. 116, 112, 115, 113, and 115, 113. So you saw right there that on the scorecards of two of the judges, that all Matt uh Madrimov needed to do in order to get a draw and to maintain and to retain his title would have been to just win one more round. But I think Terrence Crawford. Pulled that fight out in rounds, you know, 10 and 11, 10, 11 and 12, which I uh, that, which I gave all of those to Terrence Crawford. Um, and also there was a round nine that I called a draw. I mean, I mean, they had a 10, 10 round because I really wasn't sure uh, what the case was. But um, look, uh, robbery questions aside, Bud didn't look very good. Man, Bud Crawford was having straight right hands bounced off his forehead like somebody was playing tennis at the park and hitting the ball up against the wall. Man, I saw him on at least three occasions get hit with three straight right hands in a row by Israel, Israel uh, Manmarov. Now, uh, Terrence Crawford also did his thing, you know, was you know, his Typical combination punches, big shots. You know, I would say the biggest shots of the fight probably landed from Terrence Crawford. Um, both guys got their eyes swollen. Israel Madmarov's uh, double was his left eye looked like it was um, in pretty bad shape or it was headed towards bad shape. And uh, Terrence Crawford's right eye was uh, was uh, swollen from probably round about maybe seven on he's got that got that mouse over the top of his eye um but again that was man israel madmarov can fight man israel madmarov was doing man just throwing a lot of feints a lot of foot fainting a lot of hand fading fainting um when he got uh terrence crawford flat-footed while he was bouncing he would you know he would leap in with leading with lead left hooks but the straight right hand without a doubt was what really kept uh uh Madrimov 
in the fight. And I can understand why a lot of people would think that is that Madrimov won the fight. Now, uh, the robbery thing, no. Again, because I think that Terrence Crawford got the first two rounds and I think that he got the last, I think he got the last three rounds. So I don't know whether or not Madrimov ran a clean sweep for me between round two and round uh, and round nine, those seven rounds in there that remain. But man, all in all, it was a really great fight, man. I really enjoyed the fight card. Uh, some things that, you know, Jared Anderson got knocked out by Martin Bacoli. So that was, you know, that was kind of a downer for me. Um, there was a very boring fight took place between David Morrell and uh, and his uh, the Serbian and his Serbian opponent, who was basically like playing patty cake the whole fight. Uh, but then you had a, actually a fight that wasn't didn't wind up being that entertaining. Andy Ruiz and Jarrell Big Baby Miller had fought. You know, they fought to a draw. And then you had the a really big upset uh, of the night, the upset of the night uh, and the fighter of the night in my opinion, was Rayo Valenzuela, who upset Isak Cruz, who was a five to one favorite uh, by outboxing him. Man, I said, if you had been uh, to the live stream and listened to what I said about that fight, I said, hey, man, you know, I would lean towards Isak Cruz. But look, Rayo Valenzuela looked very good in his last fight. If he's able to stick, you know, just to stay, keep that jab out there, land uppercuts, you know, and keep uh, on um, Isak Cruz that, you know, he could be able to pull that fight off and he did and he won. And, and I thought dominating fashion, I don't think it was a close fight. I, I know that it was a split decision and one of the judges gave, uh, the fight to Isak Cruz, but man, I, I couldn't, I can't see that man. Just all in all, you know, really great, really, really, really solid performance with, uh, um, Rayo Valenzuela. And it seems like Ray Val- uh, that Isak Cruz is saying, hey, man, let me get my rematch. So they very well may rematch those that, you know, rematch each other next. That does put, um, you know, a bit of a damper in if Gervonta Davis was going to fight Isak Cruz next. So that's now that's off the table. But I don't think anything took, you know, knock the dust off of anything more than Terrence Crawford's performance. Uh, Terrence looking is Terrence Crawford is looking. um looking real vulnerable at 154 pounds. He's looking vulnerable at 154 pounds. And what I think it is, I think it's I think it's the size, the fact that the some of the shots that Terrence Crawford was hitting uh Israel Madmaroff with would have knocked out would have knocked down the uh the other people that he fought when he was at 147 pounds. So uh and on top of that man just his reflexes look slow. His reflexes look slow. His feet didn't look as fast. Um, he got flat footed in the second half of the fight. Um, and who knows what's going to happen, you know, with him in the fights moving forward, because, you know, he took a lot of punishment, man. Like, I, I think it's fair to say that Terrence Crawford look, took a lot of punishment in that fight. He took a lot more punishment than I've ever seen him take in a fight before. Um, with the, And he didn't get knocked down. But the just the very, very clean, solid punches that were being landed by Israel Madmaroff, overhand, uh, overhand lefts, not just straight rights, but also overhand lefts were landing, you know, on a on a fairly regular basis on on Terrence. Um, yeah, man, he got really got, you know, he got put through the ringer in that fight. He earned his paycheck, whatever that amount of money is that he got for that fight. He definitely uh, he definitely earned it that fight. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.